Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and this is part three, part three of the uh, blacksmith armor. So, uh, gonna be working on some anti-spall cutting, so let's get up. What I'm doing now is I'm going to try to apply some anti-spalling or spall coating to the plate. Now what this is, for those of you who, who don't know, um, when, when a steel plate stops a bullet, the bullet doesn't go away. It's not contained. Here's our bullet. Our bullet's traveling along and it hits the steel plate. Now when it does, the pieces of that bullet, the copper jacket, the lead core, or the steel core, whatever it's made out of, they still have to go somewhere, even if the plate stops it. Now, here's your plate. This bullet's got to go somewhere. Now, above it is your, your neck and your head. You need those. Um, to each side of it, you've got arms. And below it, you know what's below it. And nobody, nobody wants to get bullet fragments there. So, we've got to find a way to contain this. Now, composite plates, when the bullet hits them, it goes in there. Not all the way through, but it goes in there and it breaks stuff up and it contains the bullet fragments. So what we've got to do is we've got to have some kind of coating on this. A lot of people have um, suggested like rhino liner, truck bed liner. And I think they get that idea because like the, the AR500 plates have an anti-spall coating on them that looks like truck bed liner. But there's absolutely no way that it's truck bed ladder. So I'm gonna try something different. Um, I ordered some stuff here. This is from Fiberglass Supply Depot. And this is Kevlar Felt. Now what this is used for, its actual purpose, is you put it on the bottom of uh, canoes and kayaks and high wear areas to protect them from abrasion but it's, it's thick and I'm gonna use this as the base layer for my anti-spall protection. And then over that, I am putting, oh, it wasn't this color when I ordered it. Apparently it was. <laughs> okay, we got a, got a taupe side here. Is that taupe? Got a yellowish color. Now what this is, this is 17 ounce heavyweight Aramid protective Kevlar fabric, military grade. And uh, so what the plan is, is I am going to take fiberglass resin and I'm going to put the, uh, the felt material, cover the plate with it, overlap it around the joints, and then I'm going to put the, the Kevlar Aramid protective Kevlar fabric over the top of that and hopefully that will hold all our spalling in. Now, yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing. So let's get on it. I've got my first piece of felt cut out here. So just going to use this resin as an adhesive. It's just fiberglass resin and and the hardener. Not a not a lot to this. Well, there's probably bodywork guys or boat guys or something watching this that can tell me everything I'm doing incorrect about this. This is the uh, first layer of Kevlar. This is the, hopefully the back. This is the felt that is going over the back. And this is uh, two inches overhang or five centimeters, I guess. Um, 
Yeah, y'all gotta give me a break on the metric system. It's not that the metric system is ridiculous. It's just I've, you know, I don't use it. So five centimeters. Oh, that seems short for five. <laughs> so the plan is, I'm gonna put this down. I'm going to put the plate on top and glue uh, a few of the sides on, or or use the resin to adhere a few of the sides on, and then adhere the rest on later. This will this will go just like that, and then this will wrap around. I still don't know if this is the best idea. It's probably not the best idea. But it's the only idea I've got. I didn't glue it on like I did the other on the other side. I'm gonna apply that resin later. Try to cut this where it would overlap as much as possible. Yeah, I've got some rubber gloves over there. I should probably be wearing, well, not rubber, latex. Latex gloves over there. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and do this top one too. Wait on the sides because I've got these little wings on the bottom. Right here, I don't want to glue around. I really don't know if this is the proper thing to do. This is terrifying because I'm making this up as I as I go along. I did have enough sense to put on my my gloves at this point. Now that my hands are already crusty with this resin, oh, but this makes it so much easier I've given the resin uh, about 20 hours to dry and it's it's dried up and solidified pretty good and I'm fairly happy with that now I'm going to make the side with the seams the front of the plate. Initially I was going to make this the back, but I think it makes more sense to, to make it the front. So this is the the other Kevlar material. Laid it on here and traced it out and figured out where I'm going to cut it. Here's what I got cut out. So the plan, of course, to take our plate with the seams facing the Kevlar. Put it down here. I will glue this one first, and then this one. No, I won't. I will not do that. I will glue this one and these two first, and then I'll come back with this one and these.
I do know that this is amazing to me that so far the most time consuming part of this has been putting the Kevlar onto the plates. I never would have I never would have thought that. I thought this was gonna be quick and easy and it is not. Now one thing I have figured out on the last one is kind of taking the edges and pushing down and dragging away helps it stay. It adheres it a little bit better. Take the rest of our resin here and Well, here is our finished product. This is the front, and we've got, of course, a layer of the Kevlar felt, and then the other Kevlar material over that. The back has a layer of the Kevlar felt, resin, and then the edges of the, the Kevlar felt on the front, and then the other Kevlar material on the sides folded around. This was several coats of resin, and then there were a couple of coats of resin on the felt, and then I put a couple of coats on the other Kevlar material. So that's the finished product. Now we need to get it tested. Whew. Well, y'all, that was a lot of resin and uh, Kevlar. So now we got to get around to the testing it and we will see how it goes. Uh, if you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them below uh, in, the, in the comments. And um, yeah, so we'll get the testing done next. Alright, y'all behave yourselves.